Hello everyone. Welcome to part two of the Great Mushroom War documentary. I will say some things that are fact and what is not fact. I will go over possible humans and humans we know exist. I will go over practical things that possibly happened during the war and why it may have been started. Please ask questions and be sure to comment about things you want to say. The following video was not 100% fact, but it will be in high detail of how this war played out and other events and characters. Please enjoy the video. Despite the destruction from the war, the land slowly began to recover, and soon life was once again allowed to freely inhabit the earth. Only a few signs of the nuclear devastation remain in Ooh. One example was in the episode The Vault, where Shoko helps Princess Bubblegum establish her new kingdom by covering up an irradiated river at the site of the Candy Castle. In the process of covering it up, Shoko becomes disfigured and mutated by the effects of the nuclear waste and appears as she had in premonitions in earlier episodes of the series. The episode implies that the Candy Kingdom is built upon a pond of nuclear waste, along with the rise of new civilizations such as the Candy Kingdom, a diverse variety of intelligent life settled down in Ooh. Many were able to recover or develop technology for their own use. Examples of this are universal translator devices and holographic newspapers. It is unknown whether these are based on pre-war technology. The year of the war was never stated, but we know that it must have happened sometime after 1982 because the Ice King is heard singing the theme song and making reference to the sitcom Cheers in the episode Simon and Marcy, which premiered that year or are more recent inventions. Despite this, most human inventions, especially those related to transportation, remained lost to the inhabitants of Ooh. In the New Frontier, Jenk mentions this when he says that rocket ships haven't been reinvented yet, implying that the technology to build convenient space vessels was lost during the Mushroom War. The first mention of the war in continuity was in Video Makers, when Finna Jake discover government copyrighted warnings before the movies they watch for their film club. These warnings would have been long gone by their time, and what films brought for home usage generally are protected to be used for private usage only, which being held in a home would be considered as such. They decided to abide by them to avoid breaking the law. are a critically endangered species in the post-apocalyptic setting of Adventure Time. Many characters marvel at Finn's humanity, like Princess Bubblegum in the episode Susan Strong. Bob Rainicorn even says that he and his wife believe humans to be extinct. The very scarce human population in the land of Ooh is likely due to the Mushroom War, which took place approximately a thousand years before the present storyline. There are other beings in Ooh, such as Phil and Old Man Henchman, who seem to resemble humans. However, Finn and the other characters do not recognize them as humans. According to the show's writers, these characters should be referenced to as humanoids or mutants. It should be noted that the last humans, Finn being the only confirmed example until Betty, when Simon accidentally brings Betty into the future, and in Billy's bucket list, when Finn's father, Marn, is revealed to be alive, both look strikingly different from the alternate timelines presumably unmutated humans, who have regular sized eyes with visible whites and pupils, as well as more prominent noses. 
However, the Humans and Pin Ward's other series, Bravest Warriors, also have little black eyes and no noses. It could be a designer oversight. Thanks for watching, everyone. Part 3 of Adventure Time The Great Mushroom War Documentary will be in the works soon. Just do not expect them to be out the next minute. It does take time to make these. In the future, I do plan to make better versions of these videos in greater detail. This is what you will get for now, and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Until next time, peace.